Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as per usual, technology is phenomenal. And uh, as I clicked the, to start the stream, it's just told me that Facebook has deleted the live and I've tried everything I can over the last few minutes to try and get it to reboot, but it will not because I'd already started the live. So um, I'm just going into, bear with me, I'm just going to quickly go into where it was scheduled in Facebook. And I'm gonna add a post here and I'm gonna tell everyone. So if you are on live, just let me know you can hear and see me uh, in the comments and I will get to you in just a second. Uh, the Facebook stream has been deleted. Okay, so I'm going to post that into into the Facebook chat that's attached to today's training. Uh, I'm going to open up comments. Yeah, let me know. You can see and hear me. I should be on my webcam, and I'm going to add it over here as well, just in case anyone has jumped on. Apologies. It's always it's always a stress when you try to start. Um, I'm posting that in the in the group as well. So yeah, let me know if you can see and hear me and who is on and where you're tuning in from. We're going to dive into uh, the Getting Groovy uh, new member onboarding. See and hear. Hey, Carolyn D, good to see you. The Practice Company audio and video is good. 2 p.m. EST, awesome. Great to see you guys. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to add... Uh, where are we? This is the doc we're going to be going through. And I'm going to give you this at the end. I uh, I really want you guys to give me feedback in the chat, ask questions on stuff that we're covering. And, and as I'm going through each step, you will see uh, what we're talking about. Please attempt not to go into too much, you know, detail and very advanced techniques. This is really about beginner training. As you can see on the document, new member onboarding, we're going to do a walkthrough of the dashboard. Then we're going to go through these 17 steps. I attempt, and I say attempt, I attempt to try and get it done in under an hour. But um, the more questions I get from you, the better, because otherwise I'm just sat here in my apartment in Mexico talking to StreamYard. Uh, so I always appreciate the, the comments. Always remember there's a good five to 10 second delay because we're streaming through StreamYard. 
And um, if you are asking any question and I've already moved on to the next step, just make sure you're you're kind of referencing the question uh, and detailing it just so I understand it. I don't like to have to ask you to rephrase it, et cetera. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping some of you guys that were registered for it over on Facebook are able to join. It's very frustrating because obviously on Facebook, you can say that you're going and there's 20, 30 of you had already said you were going, but now the stream is not streaming live on Facebook. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my, I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to remove my face, which one gives me, why does that not give me full screen? Okay. Anyway, so you should be able to see my screen now. I've removed my webcam just to help with the, the streaming. And we're going to dive into this document in a moment. And the first thing we're going to do is have a little walk through the dashboard. Uh, whether you're new today, whether you're new the last couple of weeks, whether you've been here for a couple of years, um, you know, things are changing all the time. We're updating, we're improving, we're making sure that the usability is uh, as high as we can get it. So I'm just going to do a little walkthrough of the dashboard to give you a little overview. So up here, you should see either if you've already uploaded an image of yourself or you should see a little head icon. And we can click here and go into your settings and billing. And as I said, I'm going to come back to this um, and go through most of these in detail. So you've got domains, plans, billing settings, developer, affiliate settings, integration and app settings in here. And this is where you change your image. So you just click here and upload an image. Also, you can access the Groove Partner Program from here. And every single one of you, as soon as you've set up a free account or a paid account, you get access to become a Groove affiliate. It gets set up automatically. And when you click that button, it will take you here. There's going to be a nice video from Mike. Uh, and I'm just going to, if you hear me pausing, it's just because I'm rehydrating on drinking coffee. So my recommendation, if you're looking to promote as an affiliate, Go and watch the video here. Uh, Mike walks you through everything. Then you're, if you're logged into Groove, as obviously I am, it gives you your promo tools. Everything here is um, is ready for you. And because it knows you're logged in, it also gives you all of your links inside of um, everything in the emails, etc. And go and have a play around in there. And um, if I go back to the dashboard, then the next four dots here, when you click on it, it's going to open up a drop down with all of the main applications. And the same over here, when you hover on the Groove logo, you can access any of these in, um, in quick time. The bell, this shows updates uh, where I do all the training videos with additional um, either improvements or new features or code refinements. So again, you can access the updates there. Here, the Life Preserver, this is our little Groove AI bot. And the AI assistant, as you can see here, obviously I do this on a demo every time. You can pretty much ask it anything, um, custom domain, and I probably would word it better, how to add a custom domain, but he's pretty intuitive. Uh, he normally gives me very, very good answers. And I'm gonna cover on the end of the doc how to get the best support, how to support each other, how to support Groove to support you. And as you can see there, it gives you very detailed uh, explanation of what you need to do. So the little life preserver, for me, that's, that's, it's one of your best um, places to go. If you're looking to promote Groove, click here. If you're on a free account, that'll probably set upgrade. Uh, I'm on a lifetime account, but I'm presuming I could upgrade on my emails. But it's worth, this is going to forward you to the upsell page uh, where people are going to upgrade. So if you're going to promote Groove with the free offer then this is where they'll go after they've opted in uh, so again a really good video from mike here and this has all been updated recently and what i like about this and the reason i recommend you look at it is it's got a lot of like side by side comparisons the free plan to the premium plus plan and mike and the team spent loads of time on this and they've also removed some of the plans we used to have just again to remove confusion a confused buyer doesn't buy uh, so go and have a look through there. Here, the Groove Affiliate Program, that's the same. It's going to take you to the same place as that one there. As I just said, we can access all of the apps from just hovering on the Groove logo. And then we have the Home button, which is this dashboard. We have the Marketplace. And this is the Affiliate Marketplace. 
You can either put your products on there to look for affiliates to promote your product, or yourself, you can go and register to promote products. So you can see here, Groove AI, I am obviously already an affiliate for that. If I wasn't, it would say join the program. Uh, but you can then go and click to see the offer. You can click to see links, promo tools, and sign up page. And again, you can see you've got categories and you can filter by billing types, trials. And at the top here, you can search as well. So I'm just gonna go back to the dashboard. And if you are joining late, many, many apologies, Facebook, StreamYard kicked the Facebook uh, feed out. And uh, because I'd already started the live, it didn't uh, let me re-add it. So I'm hoping some of you guys that were registered on Facebook managed to get over here. What I will do is I'll, um, I'll upload this to Facebook after this live, just so you guys can access it as well. Uh, where was I? So our services, we have GroovePay, so you can go and register for a GroovePay account. And you can see there, it's very simple. Just click the apply button and away you go. I've got, um, I don't know if anyone else has this. I've got a wireless mouse and once in a while, the batteries kind of start fading. And I've changed the batteries three times. Obviously all the batteries I have in my apartment, I'm just moving. Uh, the, the only batteries I've left here are like, obviously old batteries. So if you see my mouse kind of flickering and jumping at times, um, then you understand it's just my mouse. What was I doing there? Groove Marketplace. Affiliate Marketplace. Oh, so the uh, Groove Marketplace. Sorry, I kind of lost myself there. And you can see there, this is for kind of Groove products, Groove cart products, and you can look through all of these as well. Our services, I was on actually our service and I skipped back, so apologies. GroovePay, you have Groove Solo. So if you want to drive some solo traffic, you can go and register for a free account and go and buy some solo traffic. You can also promote Groove Solos as an affiliate as well if you'd like to do that. The events and workshops, GrooveCon will be coming again soon. You can uh, register for that here. And my favorite event of the year, which we're going on another cruise in January, is the Marketers Cruise. You can see there, uh, it's the 17th. This will be my fifth or sixth. I kind of go religiously every year. There's two events I go to every year that I kind of really like to hone my marketing skills and my funnel building skills and my ad skills and you name it. There's training on the, on, on the Marketers Cruise. And you can see here, it's organized by Captain Lou, Mike, Phil, Same, and Tom Bill. And it's 70% fun in the sun, 30% business building. I highly recommend it. And then you have the API key um, you can click into there. And then down the bottom here, we have two options for language, English and Portuguese for our Brazilian counterparts. And then we have the Groove Digital Academy. Again, I'm going to cover these in detail as we go through the doc. This opens up in a separate window and you can go here and search for whatever you want and you'll see it will start filtering to give us the videos or I can go into a specific application and uh, and I can click into an application. Uh, the next one down is the help desk and again that opens up in a new window. Hey Frank, how are you? Uh, uh, how do you use the API key? So if you are I think that the key question, Frank, is if you're using APIs and you're trying to connect to other other softwares using API, you probably will know it's probably a bit more advanced for this beginner training. So, um, again, I would probably recommend going to the dashboard, go and ask our little AI assistant, or as I get to the end of the doc down here, I'm going to go through all the different ways you can find your answers and that will answer it for you. So. I'm not avoiding your question. I'm just, uh, it's a bit more of an advanced question, Frank. Hope that makes sense. So yeah, this is the help desk. And again, you can see the AI bot assistant pops up and the chat function pops up there as well. Again, gonna cover that down further in the doc. And then we have the last one at the bottom, the feedback. And um, this is so important because obviously with Groove, there's still certain things that we need fixing, certain things that we need help with, i.e. 
you know, you letting us know if there are any bugs. So you can see here bug reporting. Uh, again, there's another place here to see feature requests. So first thing you need to do on both these, the bug reporting and the feature request is go and search for it. Okay, so search for, uh, sorry, I'm just going to mute my laptop because I'm watching the stream over here to keep an eye on the comments. So search in here, you know, if you're saying, well, I think we need an image library. So search, if you then find it, you can click on the button here and it will go green. You can see I've obviously used these as a demo. Um, you can see here global blocks. If I click it, it's going to say vote added and the number goes up. So obviously the more people vote, you then see that it's gone from uh, whatever it would have been down here, considering, uh, I wouldn't have been considering, it would have been planned. And I'm sorry, my God, uh, I'm just trying to find one that hasn't had many votes. Anyway, it gets changed the more votes, and you can see there are certain ones that are now planned and they'll be handed over to the devs. And bug reporting the same. Do a search here first. Find the, the, the bug, the report, if you find it. Again, click on the vote to say, yeah, no, I agree, I found that bug, and then uh, the devs can look at that. If you don't find it when you search, please go and add it over here. Add as much detail as you can, as many screenshots as you can, video links with Loom videos, etc., just so that it helps us to be able to go and fix that bug. Uh, hey, Richard, how are you? Richard, Kevin, good to see you. Um, okay, Richard, you may not have been on at the beginning. Keep your questions relevant to what we're going through. Um, I will maybe try and come back to your question. Let me do a quick look. Yeah, the answer is yes, Richard. It's a simple answer. Yeah, uh, you can do whatever you want inside of uh, Group Member. I use it for all of my businesses, and it works very, very well. And then what you have here, if I reload, you'll see uh, when the page reloads, everything around the outside um, loads very quickly. And then the top here loads, uh, it's like um, it loads as quick as we can. Everything else then is a lazy load. So you've got all your different stats down here. You can obviously modify any of these by clicking on that and it will up upload and refresh. Here you'll see our different offerings. So again, you can click on something here if you wanted to look at Groove Agency, for example. And then here we have our quick links. Each one you can click on directly to go into the app. So if I wanted to go into Groove Mail or Groove Member, and then the three dots opens up a specific. So if I wanted to go into Portals inside a Groove Member, I just click that and in I go. So really easy uh, and simple. And I think that's the basics of the walkthrough of the, the dashboard. Uh, there's not a lot else you really need there. Uh, as I say, you can go into all of the apps from here. Obviously, the one thing I, I don't normally mention actually is, is we do have a mobile app, but obviously the mobile app is more for you tracking sales, tracking opt-ins, tracking leads. You cannot use the editor, the page builder, all of these functions will not work in the app. It's not designed for that. So I just wanted to make sure, because I had someone the other day sent um, a post into the, the main group group, and he was basically trying to edit a page in the app, and he wondered why all, none of it was working. So as I said, this doc I'm going to give you, when you get this doc, you'll see each one of these, step one, all through to step 17, I think there's 17 steps. Uh, open up directly to the specific video. So here you can see where to find your general settings. There's a, a, a nice detailed walkthrough from one of our team. And then normally he does lots of screenshots as well to make it very, very easy. So the first one we're going to go through is editing or adding your account details. We come back to the dashboard and we're just going to click on our little uh, head icon and click on settings and billing. And we're straight into general settings. So you can see in here, we can go in and modify any of this information, social media, business information, etc. Nice and simple. As I say, I won't dwell or, or like linger on some basic ones because some of them are very, very easy. So step number two, how to update affiliate payment information. If you're going to be promoting Groove, then again, this is kind of an important one. And there's two different ways you can access it. You can either come in through the settings and billing or you can come in through Groove Affiliate. We'll go in through Groove Affiliate this time. And then you just click on Settings. And you can see I've got Demo Mode on. Uh, so again, when you're doing demo trainings, etc., you can turn this on so it doesn't show any information. It won't show stats, it won't show clients' information. 
And in here, once we clicked on settings, we've got our general information. This is what you probably would have set up at the very beginning of setting up your Groove account. And then we give you an affiliate ID. Um, when we do a walk through a Groove affiliate, I'm going to just show you a little check to make sure your affiliate links are connecting to your affiliate ID. Only need to really do it once. And then you have payment information. You can either set up a PayPal or wire transfer. And then really important, you need to set up your tax info and then complete one of these documents to make sure that we can pay you. You could have earned $10,000 of commission if you haven't given us your tax info and your payment info, we cannot pay you. You'd be surprised the amount of people who send in snotty, um, aggressive messages to us at support and, and in the Facebook group uh, when they haven't actually set up their payment and tax info. We can't pay you until you do that. Okay, step number three, how to set up a payment gateway in GrooveSell. Uh, I'm going to go in through this route. I'm just going to show you different ways to get in and access. And then you're just going to click on the settings here. And then you can see it opens straight into payment gateways. You can see I've got several set up for my businesses. And then as you click on the button, obviously you can go through to the sign up again for GroovePay. And I recommend GroovePay because it's cheaper than Stripe and also it's run by Mike and the team of, of internet marketers. They, they know about launches. They know about webinars. They, you know, for example, if you're going to do a launch and you suddenly take like fifty thousand dollars on day one, Stripe, PayPal, all these other big companies that probably close you down and, and block your account. You know, with with GroupPay, it doesn't mean that we won't have similar kind of um, factors implemented, but it means you can contact us and go, look, guys, I'm doing a launch. Okay, yeah, and they turn it back on. You know, you don't have to wait six months. Uh, and as you obviously click on each one, you will see each one is going to ask you for different information. Here you can see with Stripe, it's a name, publishable key, and the secret key. Authorized net will be slightly different. Each one will tell you exactly what you need to do. And you're just going to grab that information from that payment provider. Number four, setting up a payment gateway in Groovecart. Very similar, but we're just going to go obviously go to Groovecart over here. And then I'm just going to open up uh, this one here. Groovecart is the only application that I currently don't use uh, for my businesses. But um, this one, I'm just in the process of setting up an app. And we're going to be setting up a store with lots of um, sports equipment for the app. So here we click into settings and then payment gateways. And then very similar, slightly different layout, slightly few different um, options. Again, you can see you can apply for a GroovePay account. Here you can see Stripe, PayPal, and there are some different variations. And then you just click into the settings and go in and set that up. Oh, sorry. Okay, step number five, how to add a custom domain. This is probably one of the most common uh, questions that we get asked. One of the most common things that people struggle with. It is actually super crazy simple. Same again, two different ways to get to it, settings and billing and domains, or go into a Groove um, page or Groove site. Let me just use one as an example. Let's use this one. Uh, this is a new business I'm setting up. Um, and once it loads, you click on the publish button here and you click manage domains. And again, it's going to bring you back to where we were. And all, all you need to do, if you have a paid account, you can use a free group pages subdomain. So it's like the HTTPS. You can, it will be your chosen name. Mine is Funnels Qualified. It's my business name. And then .groovepages.com. I don't think you can have that on the free account now, but um, we're going to use the custom domain here. And it's already, act you can see it's, it's red. It was already activated. I'm going to click Manage. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click add domain. I'm going to go into my GoDaddy account and I'm going to use, this is a domain I'm currently just not using. So I'm going to use this one as a live example and we're going to set it up right now. So you can see full domain, subdomain set up recommended, 100%. The legacy, I, I've used that when I first start with Groove, but I don't recommend you using it. Just click next. You're going to paste in your URL with no additional HTTPS or anything, no www dot or anything. Just click next. 
And you can see here, it's just five steps. Really, really, really simple. And again, you can read this, you know, log into your domain provider. I personally use GoDaddy. I've used it since 20 years I've been in marketing. Um, and then all it tells me to do is to copy each one of these and take them over and, and change the name servers. So you can see here I've already activated um, or I've clicked into my name servers. Any single domain provider will give you some training on how to change the name servers for your domain. And you can see here, these are set up to my standard GoDaddy ones. I'm gonna click change name servers. And then I'm gonna say, I will set up my own name servers. I'm just gonna paste in both of those. And normally most domain providers will tell you it can take up to 24 hours to all of this to, to kick in. Um, but it's always gonna ask you to double check that you're doing the right thing. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> has never done that before okay what am I let me just double check that's very strange I'll use my own name server I do this weekly unless I didn't copy it properly hmm. it looks like I did keep Click and continue. I mean, this normally pops up exactly the same. Wow. I've never, ever had that. And I've done this training like 20 times. Try again. Hmm. Very strange. You know what? If we need to, I'm going to quickly... Uh, where's my domains? Let me try and see if I have another domain I'm not using. I like to show you as a live demo because it just makes it very easy and we also do that with our name servers our email uh, hmm. ah, you know what i don't have and again these are old domains but uh, i'm going to click into one of these i used to work with click funnels obviously i moved across to uh, groove at least two or three years ago but some of these have just auto renewed and i still have them so i'm going to try and do the same thing here but obviously I need to change that. Wow, that's never happened before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out of there and I'm gonna go back in and just start that process again. I'm just gonna delete that one. And I'm gonna start again. I'm, I'm hoping I haven't got this anywhere else. I don't believe we have. More haste, less speed, Rob. Is everyone, um, is the stream okay, guys? I just got, uh, it just popped up on um, on my page saying there was an issue. Let me know in the chat if, you, if the stream is still okay. So I'm just following the same process. I'm taking the Dora and Major. I'm taking the those two over here and pasting them in. It's okay. Oh, good. Thanks, Frank. Okay, fingers crossed. Ah, ooh, me no likey. That's really not good. Okay, so basically what will happen, you'll click continue, and if you refresh the page, it will show you that they've changed. It will take 10 to 20 minutes, so you will continue and click next, you'll click validate DNS and it will show you this, but then you come back after 20 minutes and click the verify button. Obviously today, I'm not gonna be able to do that for you. Um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna dive straight on into number six. Normally I like to do that on the live domain that I've just set up, but let's show you how you can add your MX records to your custom domain. And your, so when you set up a professional email address, so for example, on any of these businesses, Hang on, let me go. Yeah. Um, once you've set the domain up and once you've set your email up, like for example, I use Google with my professional emails for all of my businesses, it will then, Google will tell you, I need you to add MX records and text records to your domain. And that's where you're going to go. You can click add um, records and then it sometimes asks you for MX and it will give you the type and the content and then you click save. And it will give you like four or five and you'll just go through each one and sometimes it adds text records as well. And you're gonna add all of those below. And then I would go back to Google, click confirm, and then Google tracks 
to see if those are attached to the domain that gets validated and that then means that your domain and your uh, email your professional email is all set up through Groove so I hope that makes sense I've never seen that error before but I will investigate that afterwards and I will try and come back and feedback after the live so steps seven through 15, I'm just going to go and do a little walkthrough of each of the applications. And these are the main applications that, um, that we're, we're trying to get completed and, and 100%. So we're going to start with Groove Affiliate. <clears throat> and you'll start seeing a theme within the, the dashboard. Obviously, down the side, there's always going to be uh, these menus and then normally it kind of loads up with some stats or different things and in here you can come in and uh, modify all of these or you can do custom date ranges as I said you can turn on your demo mode so that you're not showing any um, any private information I use this when I'm doing my groove pages tutorial trainings you can go in and, and change your filters you can reset you can refresh currently it's showing a revenue view so you can see here if I didn't have the demo mode on, all my revenue would show. And then you can change it so it shows visitors, signups, initial sales, etc. And you can then click into just sales or just rebuild, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickle. Here you can go into promotions and links for Groove Affiliate. Obviously, as we already said, you get set up with a Groove CM account, which is always going to be at the top straight away. And you can go in and click on your affiliate links here. Now, this was the test that I was talking about. Now, if you remember earlier, my affiliate ID is 4042. But when I click add my affiliate URL, it's not showing anything like that. And there's a reason for that. This is going to cookie and cache um, this user. And when I click enter, I want to just double check, does it show affiliate ID 4042, which is my affiliate ID? And if you want to then double, double check, if you click get started, when this loads, it should show, there you go, there is my affiliate ID name, Funnels Qualified, it's my business name. So <clears throat> the first time you ever start to look at promoting Groove, just double check that link. You've only got to do exactly what I did there. It takes you 30 seconds just to make sure. Also here, you can click on bonuses. So many people don't know that you can add bonuses to your affiliate promos. And it's very, very simple. So here you can see if someone signs up for a trial, I give them $2,000 worth of my Groove bonuses. And there's other ones that I can select from. If they sign up for a paid account, I give them my upgrade bonuses, about $7,000. And it's so simple. You click promos, click bonuses, new bonus, name it, and then add a link. And all I do is I go and create a Groove Pages delivery page where it delivers all the bonuses. And then... Once I've created that, that is then available over here on the drop down. So when I click bonuses, if I'd added a new one now, it would be available right there. Hope that makes sense. And then you can see additional promos that you've um, added to your Groove affiliate account. Here you can go into your, your um, transactions, your sub affiliates, your earnings report and your payment history. And then you can go into tools and you can set up different tracking links for different promos. The marketplace, we've already looked at that. It's just another way for you to get into the marketplace to go and look at what products can you promote that are congruent with your product. Because, you know, let's say, for example, you've got a, uh, I don't know, an AI product. Well, promoting Groove AI would fit very nicely with that. And then again, we've got our affiliate settings. So really, really simple. Groove Affiliate. And let me know uh, any questions on each application as we're going through. Again, just <clears throat> excuse me. Just remember, uh, we do have about a five, 10 second delay with StreamYard. So Group Blog. Group Blog has had a lot of updates. It really is getting better. Look, is it WordPress? No. WordPress has been around for 20 plus years. Can you run a very functional blog on it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and are there going to be more updates? Are there going to be more things happening? A hundred percent. Again, you can see here. This is a um, the blog for my events business in Los Angeles, and we use it. It's live. It's, it functions very, very well. We get a lot of visits to it. We get a lot of um, traffic from it, and we've got it linked up to our website. So what I'll do, and you can also see here, we have a live chat function on there as well. 
first things first, I'm going to go into settings. So obviously you can modify all of these SEO domains. You can have it on a subdomain, a root domain, a folder domain, logos, favicons, social links, comments. You can add your forms within the blog now. And again, you'd have had to add these um, in GrooveMail forms first, and then they will appear on the drop down. And then you can actually modify the start style and lookout within Groove Blog. Here you have a little copyright that goes at the bottom of your blog. Uh, again, you can add a dynamic year using this here, and you can obviously link things in the copyright. You can embed ads, you can add your tracking pixels. As you can see here, we've got our live chat tracking pixel, and we've got our OG and meta settings. So when you're sharing it on social media, this is what's gonna show. And also you have your RSS settings. So you can um, click all posts or popular posts, or you can choose specific posts. So that's your settings. Navigation, I'm going to go back to, where am I going? Come on, brain. Sometimes I go a bit too fast for my own brain. I like having the blog open. So when I go into the navigation, you'll see what I'm talking about when I open it up. So now oh, if I click the right button. It's the problem. I, I, <clears throat> I sometimes try and um, get through this in under an hour just because I'm conscious of your time and I, I understand how busy everyone is. But sometimes I can move a bit too quick for my own good. So here you can see this is our top navigation. We have our home, our bar, and you'll see that right there. You can obviously go in and edit these, delete these, or you can add more. OK, then you can see our call to action button. That is here for mine, and that's a 10% discount. And then we have our footer navigation. So again, you can see I have a privacy policy and reviews at the bottom. And as I said, we have our live chat widget that pops up on our blog, uh, and that connects with one of our team, and they're instantly getting answers, et cetera. It's got an AI bot first, and then it hands over to one of our team. Then you can open up your categories. As you can see, they are in, in down below. Similar kind of thing. You can add, move, delete, et cetera. So themes, we are adding more themes, but you can customize the theme to your heart's content. As you come in here, you can see all of these different colors, et cetera. So obviously links are set as a blue. So if I wanted to change it, I just click change. I can either find a color or I can add a specific color that's branded to my business. You can change all your fonts. We've got every single font that's now available in group pages. And also you can go in and change the layout. So for example, if you wanted to remove the sidebar, you can see it here. I've got an opt-in there. Uh, you can show categories, remove them, opt-ins, etc. And then you can edit the post page. So this is what the post page currently looks like. If I want it to be just without a sidebar, I just do the selection there. And also the category page, you can modify this list grid, etc., etc. And I'm going to exit out of there without saving. Categories, you can just go in and modify, add new categories just on their own in this section here. And then you have the post. When you first set up a blog, it's going to give you five, I think it does. It gives you five example blog posts. And my best advice is you just click into it and then just go through and modify everything here on the right side. <clears throat> Hey, Tropical Cabbage. Wow, what a great name, Tropical Cabbage. Uh, question, is the live person bubble in the bottom right corner a feature we can activate in group? No, unfortunately it's not. This is a company that I have on the out, uh, outside of Groove. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, you can plug in any kind of chat facility on any website in Groove, on any blog in Groove. It's just, it's just a custom code that's added into the, the blog. So yeah, once you come in here, you'll see, you can modify the headline. You can go in and modify any of the text or the images, uh, new things that have been added recently. You can go in and uh, add out tags. Again, it's great for SEO. And anywhere you are, if you just press enter, it's going to open the little plus button and you can add additional things there. I'm just going to delete that. Here you can select a featured image. <clears throat> You're going to create your URL slug. And again, that's good for your SEO, your publish date, your categories. Again, these are all... Um, you know, you just select keywords. Obviously, my team have added a bunch of keywords for this blog post, and we've added a small excerpt. There's a select amount of characters. Uh, you can add it as a popular post, 
Again, these are all deselectable. And then you've got your edit metadata and your graph data, and then you can add some custom code. So pretty straightforward. I'm gonna exit without saving because this is a live blog. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a real tickle today. Uh, and then uh, the publish button, obviously, once you've done all your edits, once you've done everything, you've made it all look good. I mean, we've got a little scroller here to go through all of the different stuff. Uh, you can visit your blog. So again, you can look at um, how it looks and then you can obviously click publish, which I'm not going to do. So, yeah, I mean, look, as I say, we're not we're not pertaining to be as good as WordPress. But uh, when you're talking about having everything in under one umbrella, it works very, very well. So that's Groove Blog. Groove Car. Groove Car. I love Groove Car. As I said, it's the only only one app out of the whole um, Groove apps that I don't currently use. But as I said, my new business that we're just in the process of setting up, we are setting up this store here. And also for my events company, we are in the process of setting one up. But what you'll do when you first come to Groove Groove Car, you'll click Add New Store. You'll you'll type a name for the store. And then it will tell you it's going to start preparing it. It'll take two or three minutes. And the reason why is when I open the, the dashboard, you'll see that it creates a full stop. You don't have to do anything. Brett Adams, good to see you, Brett. Two questions, please. Oh, wow, that's greedy, but go for it. <laughs> uh, and when you come into Groove Car, obviously you can see here again, we make it nice and simple. Follow these six steps here. Then you can come in and set up your domain, your legal, your store design, your email templates, etc., and similar. Everything's the same. You've got a little menu down the side here. Um, you can come in and open up your products, your categories, your discounts. The crazy thing with which one am I in? Um, hang on, let me go back out of this one. The crazy thing with Groovecart is you can set up drop shipping, and it means you can add as many products into your store without ever handling them never touching them, never delivering them, but just having them drop shipped. So if you never heard of drop shipping, it's phenomenal. Uh, why is that taking so long to load? There we go. Um, and this store, uh, let me just open, let's open the builder. <clears throat> I've done nothing with this store apart from spend 15 minutes just adding a few products. So you can see these are some of the sport products that we're adding. And I haven't had to take any images. I haven't had to select any images. I haven't had to put any descriptions. I've just added them here as a drop shipping product. Uh, and obviously, you can see in the builder, you can change the different views, modify, and you can click into anything, and, and it will bring you up some settings, and you can modify it. Inside of the builder, you've got different pages, categories, product page. Again, each one of these you can modify, play around with. You've got your navigation. You've got your pop-ups. Very, very similar to group pages, themes, and then all of your settings here. And again, you can add new um, blocks, elements, etc. There's so much you can do in here. Very similar to group pages. Uh, yeah, it's just going to take me too long, but you can. I've done nothing. I literally typed in the name for this um, Groovecart store. Everything is pre-built, and then all I've got to do is go in and change all of the settings in here, etc. I'm just going to click Don't Save. I'm just going to come back out. Okay, Brett, let's see the question. What happened to the monthly updates? Mike promised AI was not going to interfere. There have been any posted since July. Yeah, Brett, um, great question, but look, that's not what this call's about. The updates are being done behind the scenes. What you've got to remember is just because there aren't any fluffy and flowery updates like we had for two or three months because we did a bunch, because I know, because I do all the training videos for them. There have been another 20, 30, 40 since then. The problem is there's not, they're not front facing, they're in the code, they're in the background. So bear with us, Brett, everything's getting updated. We took on a bunch of new devs recently and about a month and a half ago. So, you know, there's a lot happening. So just bear with us, Brett. We can't, we can't tell you about every single behind the scenes update because it's gonna have no value to you. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. So yeah, again, down on the side here, as I said, that's your drop shipping. Then you have all your orders, your subscriptions, your abandoned carts, customers, affiliates, and you can set up a help desk. We just went into the builder and then you can add apps and uh, designer apps. And then you've got your settings in here. 
my recommendation with all of these, by the way, is just go in and play. Go in and play with um, with just an understanding that I'm just going to set up a store just to have a look. And then just go in and modify and click it and play. And, and you can't break it. You know, there's nothing you can break in here. Yeah, we're going to go over a Groove webinar, Frank. That's um, it's number number fifteen. So that's Groove Cart, Groove Mail. Look, unless you've been on the moon, you will know that Groove Mail is having a complete tear down. Um, it's being pulled apart from the top to the bottom, and uh, obviously, it's in, in in the process with David Lemon, and we've got about another five or six devs who are working on that right now. And the honest answer is with Groove Mail is that Groove Mail was launched. We, we released it to all of the users. We had a lot of unscrupulous users who uploaded a lot of spam email lists and it pretty much closed down all of our servers and it even closed down Groove. You know, we couldn't send emails out. And so we are in the process of fixing that. It is a patience game um, and we will get it absolutely right. So same when you come in here, uh, what happens is the everything on the outside and the top loads very quickly. And then everything at the bottom lazy load so it just it stops it from freezing up and you've got your quick links at the top again and then you can come into your contacts and uh, let me check i've got my dev mo demo mode on yeah so you can see with the demo mode on i'm not showing you any of my uh, subscribers information obviously i'd never want to do that on a training whether i'm on a live or on a, a youtube video here we can come into lists tags categories etc and then we have campaigns, broadcasts, sequences. Sequences, um, these are, let me see which one, uh, let's go into this one. So sequences are, once someone's opted in, uh, whether they've, and, and you can change, you can set these up. So if someone receives a specific tag, they enter into the sequence, or if they join a list, or if they click through a form on a specific page, you can see this is for my events business. And we've set up just a conditional split across the first five or six days where we're saying if they've opened a specific email, no, if they've done a certain um, thing within an email, um, we'll have a time delay and we'll send them another email. If they've done something else, then we'll subscribe them to a different list and then we'll unsubscribe them from this list. And you can see that runs through I can't remember, five or six different um, things just to take them through the first five, or six days after they've come to our business and they've requested information. Um, Brett, how does the webinar jam integration work? I could not get it to receive contacts from them or does it send to them? Yeah, um, Brett, the, the, again, it's an advanced question, but I'll try and answer it quickly because I use webinar jam. Um, I use ever, ever webinar and I use groove webinar, uh, webinar jam. Uh, it's again, it's plugging an API. I'm 99 cent sure. Um, I'm trying to remember now you can't send information back to groove. I don't believe at this time. But don't quote me on that. That would be one that's probably worth asking in the group, and I can try and answer that better. Uh, as I say, I use Webinar Jam, but I don't. I haven't had to reset it up or go back into the settings for probably a year. I've been traveling for quite quite a lot. So uh, where was I? Sequences, professional email templates. Now you have a bunch in here in Groove Mail, and you can also save your own templates. You see, my mouse is jumping. It's really aggravating. Um, so I can go in and save different templates and then automations. You can set up automations in here and these are, um, a, if then scenario. So if someone, for example, um, subscribes to a list and then you select the list, you want a specific action to happen. Uh, and what you do need to do, oh my God, this mouse is really getting bad. You can see it, it, it's red at the moment. And when you set that up the first time it stays red. You then need to click resume and it will go green. Now, again, I know the devs were, were working on some different issues with automations. Um, I, I've been using them for a long time. They trigger pretty well for me, but I know we did have a bug in there and they were working on it. So, you know, just be careful to test everything. Guys, I can only recommend you test every single thing that you use in any software. It doesn't matter what software it is. You've got to test it. So forms, you can see here, uh, this is a demo form that I set up after David Lemon re relaunched the forms. You can now come in here and use design. You've got integrations. We've got setup. It's really comprehensive inside of forms. Now you can get your form to look exactly how you want it to. And obviously the previous form layout wasn't as comprehensive. Email senders. God, this battery. Um, 
if it lets me click there we go so currently as i said groove the groove smtp is getting a complete overhaul so for all of the users you are unable to select the the groove smtp so when you want to set up a new user and you want to use groove mail you cannot use the smtp now it shows for me because i'm part of the team this will not show for you <clears throat> But what you can do, and what I did before the Groove SMT was even up and running, I used SendGrid and I've used Amazon um, SES. And when you select it, it will show you the settings you need to grab from Amazon SES, for example. And it will show you the webhook you need to add. And it also shows you a little setup video here. So they're very simple to set up. Each one is going to ask you for different information. As I use SendGrid for probably 10 years, uh, Amazon for a few years. They're very, very good. And it means that you're sending emails from within Groove but the, the SendGrid, Amazon, Spark, Postal, Mail gun are handling the deliverability. Because obviously the Groove SMTP, it crashed and, and we just got overwhelmed with spam uh, emails, we've had to take it down. So as I say, we can only apologize, it's coming back very, very soon. And then you set up your sender identity, so you put your name, um, the name here you wanna show in the email account, the email you wanna send from and the replies to, and then you add your business information and your address and then click save and that will set up a new sender and then you can go into your analytics so that's groove mail how am i doing on time oh my god that feels like i'm really going slow i'm on groove member so let's dive into groove member go away <laughs> Does anyone else have that sometimes things pop up and they just won't go away so groove member I will try and attempt to speed up a little bit. Same thing, quick links, stats, uh, sidebar. So you can click into your memberships here. Um, I have many of my memberships still on the, the original, I call it Groove Member 1.0. And then we've got some of my team are moving across to Groove Member 2.0. I'm pretty sure most of you are only going to build in Groove Member 2.0. So I'll just click in and quickly show you uh, when you click in for the very first time. No, I've gone too far in. Um, where am I? This one. Come on, internet. Frank, you're saying you can still use Groove Mail SMTP. Yeah, just just be wary that um, it's either it's showing that you can use it, but probably you can't. Um, unless you're one of the super users, Frank. Apologies, I don't know. I don't see your surname or anything. Um, Sorry, guys, I'm having loading issues. This could be my internet. We had a power cut in Mexico this morning. In fact, it wasn't even a power cut. It was um, um, lightning hit the, the power um, pole next to my apartment, and it, it literally it exploded about 7 a.m. this morning. So it has been a few issues. So once you've set up your membership site, you can come in here. You can see you can customize. You can manage courses, manage members, manage access levels, settings, analytics. And you can go into the courses and, and add as many courses within a membership as you want. You can see here, I've got several different courses there. And you've got your little breadcrumb at the top now, which we added more recently. So you can go back in uh, to each one. So you can see there, I can go into courses. Portals, you can set up a portal, which basically means, um, basically means you can add more than one course or more than one membership on a link. So. I think I've got this one set up. So yeah, so if someone's registered for my free profit funnel business, when they come here, they might go, hang on, what's this? When they click on it, it should, yep, it goes to the webinar registration page for my crypto bot, and then boom, they're into, as you can see, whoever it was, I think it was Brett was asking about webinar jam. This is my webinar jam, but as I say, I haven't edited, tweaked this, touched this for a year and a half. It still is running on autopilot. So that was portals. Also, you can come in and add files, you can add instructors, you can go in and look at your members, and you can look at your analytics. So that was Groove Member. As I say, I could spend an hour, two hours, three hours on, on all of these apps, and I, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time. This really is like just a beginner, just to get you through. Groove Pages, crikey, I could spend, I could spend far too long on Groove Pages. It's phenomenal. I love Groove Pages. So let's dive on into Groove Pages. Obviously, when you come in here for the first time, it will say create a new site. 
I'm just going to go into this one because I've just shown you this one. It's very easy. It's an unfinished website, so I'm not messing around with anything that's live. And once you've selected a, a template, then just, again, go and play with it. You know, grab things and just, you know, when you when you hover, hang on, let me go back. When you hover, you'll see things go red. And that means you're hovering on that, that, that text element or that button. And then when you click it, the settings opens up on the right-hand side and you can go into all of these additional settings. Uh, you can go into text, background. It's just click on every single one of these and just play with it to try and figure out what it does. You know, animations. Well, what does that do? Click on a few of them and you'll see. Uh, spacing, you know, test the spacing, test the sizing. You have box shadows, you have layouts, you have transparency, global styles, custom. And each one, every single element has got the similar. So you can do everything. Now, down the bottom here, you see the breadcrumbs. So I'm in a text element and it says the same up here. I'm a H1 tag. If I want to get into the container, I can either click the here or I can click the up, up arrow. And now look, you can see I'm in the container and all these settings are now just for the container. If I click the up arrow again, it's going to take me into the block. I can modify all of the settings again in this block. If I want to move the block up or down, I click the up arrow. If I want to add a new block, I click the plus button and I can go into... 300 new blocks were added recently. Uh, and you, you can see, you can select them, testimonials, contacts, newsletters, there's so much. The direct response ones, just these alone, guys, as a newbie, this would take you 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour, if you were quite advanced to set this up and get the spacing right, make sure it's all mobile optimized. Here you can just click a button and it's inputted into your page. You can save blocks. You can see all of my different businesses here I've got different save blocks for every single one of them. So it saves me having to go in and rebuild an entire block. I can just click on the button, click on my saved area, and boom, it's added to my page. Hope that makes sense. And again, I know I'm talking quick. Over here on the left, you have pages. So again, you can click here. If my mouse will work. You can add pages with the little plus button here. You can add funnels. You can add webinars. You can add pop-ups. You can add global blocks. You can go into, uh, sorry, it's, it's open global blocks because I click global blocks. Here you have, oh my God, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm clicking into blocks again. It's kind of going too quick. Here you've got elements and you can see all the basic elements on the right hand side and you just grab one and drag it and wherever you see the little pink line, it drops in the middle. And obviously, look, as I said, the goal of this is to try and test it and see if you can break it. If I don't like that, I can either click back on it and delete, or you just click the back button. Boom, it's gone. So go in and play, mess around. If you don't see anything here, don't forget, over on the left here, you've got more options. So every time you click on something, it opens up a list, excuse me, of more options. Here you have your settings. You've got all your paid settings. Then you have your site-wide settings, your share site settings, et cetera, et cetera. At the top, we can look at the different views. So you can see mobile view, upright tablet, sideways tablet, laptop, desktop. And for example, if you just think, well, hang on, this text here on the mobile view, it looks too big. And it does because I've left it like this so I can show you. If I click this, deselect it, you can see it says applying changes to mobile device only. I click on the text. I'm going to reduce that down to stupid. So you can see it's gone tiny on the mobile view. If I click on all the other views now, it hasn't changed. And again, if I suddenly decide that I don't like that, I just click back until it goes back to the way it was. And then don't forget to reselect this because otherwise you're then just editing the mobile view. So we have the back button and the forward button. I have the preview button. Again, it shows you in the bottom corner. Just be aware that none of the links are going to work. It should pop up any second. There you go. And then you can obviously preview and look around. And you have the the code, I'd steer clear of the code button just in case. If you're not a coder, steer clear of that. Save, you know, save as you go. And then you've got all your published settings here for your hosting options. And then once you've published, you can publish the whole website or current pages, view pages, or copy links. Whew, that's group pages. <laughs> There's a lot. I'm going to leave without saving because I say this is a work in progress for a new business. So, Groove page is where you create your website or your funnel or your webinar. Then you want to sell a product. So now you're going to use Groove Sell. Okay. And we're going to click into Groove Sell here. And we're going to create a new product. 
same kind of layout, same kind of look, everything's similar, same kind of sign menu. You're going to click on product funnels here, and it's going to open up all of the current ones you've set up. And if you haven't, you click new product. Uh, and then once you've done that, um, you only need to follow and show me all of this because I've already set these products up. But one, I just wanted to show you the first time you arrive here, it's going to show you 11 steps there. These are the 11 steps you need to finish to set your product up. And each one, you're going to complete these information, select whatever you want, add your image, and, and it will say save and next. If you click save and next and one of these boxes goes red, it means you've missed something. Because I've already completed this one, I can now go through and select any one of these I want. And again, I'm, I haven't got time to go through each one. It walks you through each one. It's very, very, very simple. And then obviously once you've set it up, oh, sorry, it's taken me out of groove cell. Um, once you've set it up, then you can go in and um, modify, edit, etc. really easily. So all of these that you can see here, I've got set up. And I'll click on this demo one again. Now I can go in and manage the products. I can manage my checkout links. I can create coupons. I can look at the sales. I can look at affiliate performance. I can set up my own affiliate um, setup and promo tools, leaderboards, and I can manage my affiliates. Here you can look, and again, this is only if you're going to be using it for affiliates. Here you can go into your car, uh, customers and cart abandons, have reporting, tools. This is where you can get your checkout forms. Again, this, this again is another three-hour training. Marketplace we already looked at. And then you can go into your vendor settings as well. I'm not seeing any questions, so I'm going to continue. Have a question about Groove Webinar. Fire away, Frank. We're nearly at Groove Webinar. So Groove Video, very underrated. Uh, I love Groove Video. The reason I love Groove Video is on all of my sales pages, previously I was either paying for Wistia or a paid um, video software, and I've got several. Um, or I had to use a YouTube link, which meant that at the end of the video, it showed other related videos. Whereas now I can click in here, I can add a video into a library and you just click add new. Uh, but I'll just show you how simple it is. I'm clicking into one that's already um, on a, a, a sales page. And you obviously just put the information category description. You can brand it to your coloring. This was for a Groove AI launch. Thumbnails, watermarks if you need. And you again, just six, click save and next if I can speak. And you can see everything is similar. You know, in Groove Cell a minute ago, we had 11 steps. Here you have four steps. Everything is, is you can change. I can show the controls. I can hide the controls. I can mute on start. I can not mute on start. I can autoplay. I can. So you can see on the sales page, this is engaging because people see the video starting to play, but they're like, oh, I'm going to miss it. So they click the tap, tap to unmute button and it starts playing. And again, you can change all of these settings with the, the, the buttons. You can add your own. Um, but what I love about it is here, you can add video, video elements. So for example, I could add a text overlay at one minute and I wanted to say, yeah, register for my webinar. And then I can add a button text and I can add the URL. Very, very clever. I, I pay for a couple of other softwares where I've got the facility to do this. Click save and next, and it's going to give you your embed code, your hosted page, which means that video is specifically just on that page. Uh, if you wanted to use it like that gives you a specific URL. Uh, I'm just going to skip it just for now. And then you have your source file URL. But Groove Video is awesome. You've got your analytics. You've got your categories, I believe, is here. And then you've got your settings. Groove Video is awesome. And it's only going to get better. Whew, number 15. So we're nearly finished, guys. Two minutes over. Damn. Never. I think I snuck in under it one time, but there was like maybe only 10, 15 people on. So Groove Webinar. So Groove Webinar is not 100% finished. Uh, Groove Webinar you can currently use for evergreen webinars. So um, you can't do live webinars on it yet. But what you got to remember here is Mike Phil Same was one of the founders of Webinar Jam, which is one of the webinar softwares we were talking about. And I pay for Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar. He was one of the founders at a falling out with the parties and went his own way. Um, so everything that Groove Web, uh, Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar does, Groove Webinar either does already or will do. And, uh, and again, I'm sure we'll make it better. But if you click into my webinars, uh, I think we have our crypto one on here. And if I just click edit again, just to show you, these are the steps you need to take to complete the webinar. 
and you just click save and next save and next and as you can see it's only currently available for an automated so you can obviously record a live webinar probably do it with with um, people on the live stream asking questions and you're answering the questions then you're going to take that recording upload it here set up all the settings throughout here and then you're going to run it as an automated webinar hope that makes sense again this isn't a training on webinars this is just showing you the software you can go in and set up surveys for your uh, webinar polls add all your presenters go in and look at your analytics and go in and add all your canned responses that basically means at uh, one minute uh, bob jones said this and, and you can show you can make it look more like a real webinar um again anyone that's not in the internet marketing space maybe won't understand that it's not a live webinar you're not going to lie to people no don't ever do that but you're you're basically making it look more like there are people on and and if, if you're promoting it there are going to be people on live. there are going to be other people asking questions but you, in case there's not too many you want some of those responses to come in at specific times oh okay frank i understand the group webinar is a simulated live webinar but why does it allow to show controls when the webinar is active um again uh, a bit more of an advanced question and because i'm running out of time i won't try and answer that uh, i'm pretty sure you can change that setting inside of the controls don't quote me on that again as i say we've got webinars running from there but i haven't touched them in a year probably a year and three months so again um feel free to ask that in the group and i'll, I'll answer that in, in depth i just don't want to take up uh, too much time here and I'm not sure why my webcam has disappeared as well. This is all going wrong on this webinar today. Um, okay. So also step 16, there's a full walkthrough uh, in the training where I, Elliot, he kind of walks through everything we've just gone through there, but at a nice pace, really detailed. So again, please go and watch that. This live training, I will upload in the Facebook group. Also in the Facebook group, it is... In the guide section, let me just drag it down. Where's my Facebook? Oh, I don't have it open. Um, in the guide section, sorry. You can see the previous replays. So where are we? Uh, sorry, wrong group. <laughs> Oh, dear. it's just one of those days. That, you know what? When tech crashes at the beginning, it throws you completely. So here in the guide section, you can come in here. You can see all of my update videos as well, but you can see the previous one of the previous trainings. Just click in there. You can go and watch that one all the way through and you can speed it up, slow it down, pause it, etc., etc. Oh, OK. So the last step this is really important actually you know um we love every single group user whether you're in new today or whether you've um you've been in for years um you know we want to support you as best we can but we also need your support to support you let me repeat that we need your support to support you if you are a new user and you go straight to the the groove live chat and you ask how do i set up a custom domain then one of our chat um employees has got to then go through find the video send it back to you and it takes up five ten minutes of their time or if you ask a question that's not detailed enough it takes them time to come back to you and forwards and backwards and forwards so here's what i recommend this is the order you should look for the answers number one the groove ai system we've already shown he's right there he's right in the dashboard click him and then ask your question any question and if if he hasn't got the answer, please, when you send your support ticket, tell support. I asked the Groove AI assistant about this. He gave me this answer, which was incorrect, because we want to make sure this is completely up to date and giving you the best answers. That's the simplest place to go. Second, I would go to the Digital Academy. OK, so in the dashboard, click on the little teacher's cap, Digital Academy. And go in here, search or go in specifically to that app, okay? Uh, sorry, Frank, I missed that. Yeah, uh, I can report bugs, great. Yeah, absolutely. So go and report that in the bug area. Uh, please, 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 yes. Uh, step number three, use the help desk. If you haven't found the answer in the Digital Academy, come down here, click help desk, 
open up the help desk, the AI bot is going to pop up. So we either already searched that in the desktop, uh, in the dashboard, sorry, or not. We can do that. We can search the knowledge base or scroll through. That would be the next place. Then uh, I would recommend coming to the community. Myself or one of the other admins will either um, answer your question on approval or, or we'll post it out to the group. We don't have time and one of the other super users will probably answer it. And then after those four things, I would pretty much say that 80 to 95% of your questions will be answered. Very simply, nice walkthrough videos, nice trainings, etc. If you can't find the answer then, then go to chat support. And the way to get to chat support is go to the help desk. I know it's open there, but I just wanted to show you the route. Let the AI bot pop up, which he's going to, and I'm going to get rid of him. Give it a few seconds and you'll see here, chat support. Now click ask. Now you can either click on email. If it's within the working hours, the live chat will pop up here. So you click on live chat and then you go through. But if you click on email, add your details, be very, again, let's let's think about, and, I, and again, I'm, I know I'm being like very basic here, but think about a support staff uh, for Groove, a sat on their computer, and they know nothing about you, your issues, where you're having the problem, et cetera. So what happens all the time, because I see it, is you send a message and say, I can't get something to work. And then they have to come back to you and go, which application, which page, which, you know. So just be detailed. Say, okay, I'm in Groove page. I'm in the Groove pages application. I'm in this website, in, in my Groove app, and I'm in this page, and on this block, I can't get this to work, and da, da, da. And then give them screenshots or even do a little loom video, then send that in. That then gives us a great chance to give you a one-stop answer. Because otherwise, we've got to go backwards and forwards trying to get you to respond and trying to check. Even when we respond sometimes, the email goes and you spam, so you don't even see it. We get that a lot. People send in you know, very unhappy posts into the Facebook group. No one's responding to my support ticket. And then I, I speak to the head of support, and he sends me a screenshot showing that we've replied two or three times, and it's gone into your spam filter. So that's my recommendation to help us help you those five steps. Now, we've already shown you, but I'm going to show you just to finish off and we're just 11 minutes over, so apologies. Where can you get the support? So Groove Chat support is in the dashboard. So as we've shown a few times, you can go to the help desk, click on the help desk, and then once the AI bot pops up, chat facility is down in this bottom right corner. Okay, click on chat, away you go. Um, then we have the Digital Academy. So if you click onto the Digital Academy and click in here, you will also see there's a little contact support up there. It opens up the help desk and again, it walks you through, again, you can see the AI assistance everywhere. It walks you through how to get into support. And then you have the AI assistant. We've seen that it pop, it's popping up everywhere. and. Once you've got rid of it in the um, the help desk, you can see the button down here. It just pops back up. I'm going to close them. And then the Groove support from the community. You know, ask your questions in the Groove main group. Um, myself or one of the other admins will either approve it and then pretty much straight away answer it. Or, you know, we might may um, just approve it and let other people answer it. Um, or we might... And it does happen. If it's a question that's been asked so many times and it's, it's on all our training platforms, we'll decline it with feedback. So if you post and you see that actually your post doesn't get approved into the group, it means you've got to look in your messenger, your Facebook messenger, because we've we've responded to you probably with the answer. It happens all the time. Um, just keep an eye out for that. Whew. So any questions on what we've covered so far? I'm just going to grab this doc that I've been going through and I'm going to add it into... The Facebook, sorry, the YouTube chat because we don't have Facebook chat because Facebook um, StreamYard kicked uh, our, <laughs> our stream out. I love StreamYard, but it does sometimes have that little inclination to at the last minute just kick us out. And then you're already live on the stream. There's not a lot you can do about it. So let me just check. I'm going to post this in YouTube. Uh, if one of you could just click on that link. Tell me that you can download that so that I know that that is all um, okay. 
and I'm going to attempt to really not sure why my camera's stopped. Oh, there we go. I think my camera's back, so I should be back now. Apologies, very unshaven. I've been away in Orlando for a week at a marketing event. And uh, as you can see behind me, I am moving from here to a new house. It's just been an absolutely crazy couple of weeks. So apologies about the unshaven state. But yeah, I'm opening up the floor now to questions. I can't guarantee if they're fully advanced, I'm going to be able to answer them um, here, but I will do my very best. Uh, any questions around the basics we've talked about? And can someone just give me a thumbs up? Yes, I was able to download that document. And at least I know that you've all got access to that. Walk through the doc, go back through the replay of this, either here on the YouTube channel, or as I said, I will go straight after this. I'll upload this recording to Facebook, into the, the Groove group, and then I'll pop any, um, I'll reply to any comments in there as well. Whew. I'm going to have a little mouthful of water and give you guys a few moments just to finish off if you have any questions. Otherwise, it's been awesome having all of you guys on. Some great questions. It's always nice to have people on here. Otherwise, it is just me chatting to my computer. And when you're working online, stay hydrated. It's really, really easy to skip the essentials. I have a great big huge glass of water and I pretty much fill it up every hour. So I try and stay hydrated, but I'm not seeing any questions. Could someone just give me a yes, Rob, it's um, it's all working okay. Uh, the download, I mean, just before I wrap up and close out, I don't want to do that before uh, before that. Yes, Frank, as a, I think I answered. Yeah, go and report that bug in the feedback section if that is um, something you're experiencing. Again, look, the Groove team want to make this platform the best platform ever. Do we want bugs to be there? No. Are there bugs there? Yeah. And, and by the way, every software, every every software that I've ever used, whether it's a funnel build or whatever, is in the early phases, there's bugs. And the unnamed company that I was actually at the event last week, um, friends of Mike and, and Donna and the team, and I go to the event every year more because I'm networking, I've got a mastermind there. Um, they're launching an updated version of their software and there's a huge amount of bugs in there. So we're not the only ones. Um, it doesn't make it better. It doesn't make it easier for you, but just understand we're trying to fix everything. So guys, I'm going to presume that everyone's been able to download that. I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to leave you with a little 30-second uh, outro. Uh, have a phenomenal day. If I can find my outro. Where is he? Uh, there's too many to choose from. Where is my outro? It's disappeared. Maybe it's been deleted. You know what, guys? We're going to wrap up without an outro. I see there's another comment. Uh, on a mobile, I don't see the link. It's in the comments, um, the practice company. It's in the comments. So, yeah, you probably won't be able to download from your phone, but if you come back to this, you'll see it. It'll It'll be right near the end in the comments. So guys, I'm going to finish off. I can't see the outro, but you're just going to have to finish off with my ugly face. And I will see you all again next week if you want to join. Bye for now.